Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at calculating normal probabilities or probabilities from a normal distribution. So here's our setup. Assume that heights of college women are normally distributed with a mean of 65 inches and a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. We want to know what percentage of women are taller than 66 inches. So let's begin by setting up a sketch of our normal curve. So we know that right here in the center we would place our mean. So for this distribution, that is 65. Then each one of these little tick marks here represents one standard deviation away from the mean. So doing 65 plus the standard deviation of 2.5, I get 67.5 for my first, then going again, adding 2.5 again, I would get 70, that's two standard deviations above, and then 72.5 going one more. I'll do the same thing going to the left, this time just subtracting 2.5, so that will be 62.5, 60, and 57.5. So there I've just got a picture of where I am. So if I want to figure out what percentage of women are taller than 66 inches, first I might go ahead and plot about where 66 inches would be. That's about here. And if women are taller than that, then we would be looking in this region of our normal curve. Now, if you want to use a table, so if you want to use the normal table, then you're going to need to calculate a z-score. So our z-score for 66 inches, since we always have z-score is x minus mu over sigma, that would be 66 minus 65 divided by 2.5. So that would be a z-score of 0 0.4. So we could use our table and find the area below a z-score of 0 0.4 and do 1 minus that. The other way that we could find the probability of x being greater than or equal to 66 would be to use our normal CDF. So in our normal CDF, we need a lower bound, we need an upper bound, we need a mean, and we need a standard deviation. For this particular example, the lower bound for our area is a height of 66 inches. For an upper bound, our curve extends out to positive infinity. So we can either use 1e99, which is the way that the calculator says positive infinity, or we can just use some really large positive number. Since we're talking about inches of height here, 1 million is plenty large. No person is going to be that tall, so that will certainly count all of our data values above 66. And then we can use our mean of 65 and our standard deviation of 2.5. Typing that in and hitting enter, you will get a value 0 0.3446. Because the normal table rounds to four decimal places, if I'm using the calculator, I'm going to go ahead and round to four decimal places also. So what percentage of women are taller than 66 inches? Well, about 34.5%. All right, given that same information, what percentage of women are shorter than 59 inches? So just jotting down my values again, here's 65, 62.5, 60.5, and 57.5. So 
shorter than 59 inches. 59 inches would be about here, and shorter than that would be below. So one thing that I can say is that it's probably a pretty small percent. Now depending on how you want to do your calculation, you can do a z-score for 59, or we can again use our normal CDF. So x being less than or equal to 59 calculator-wise would be normal CDF. Our lower bound is technically negative infinity, so we could use negative 1 e to the 9, 9, or you could do like negative 1 million or just any negative large number. The upper bound for our area is 59. Our mean is 65, and our standard deviation is 2.5. So if we enter that into our calculator, we will get 0.0082. So percentage-wise, that is less than 1%. That is 0.82% of women would be less than 59 inches on this distribution. All right, one final example with this information. What percentage of women are between 62 and 67 inches? One more time, just kind of jotting my information here. 62.5 below, 67.5 is one above. So between 62 inches, 62 inches would be ever so slightly below this one standard deviation below, and 67 inches would be ever so slightly below this one standard deviation above. So we would be looking for this area here. So our probability of being between 62 and 67 in this distribution can be calculated using normal CDF of our lower bound is 62, our upper bound is 67, our mean is 65, and our standard deviation is 2.5. So typing that in, we would get 0 0.6731. So about 67% of women would have a height between 62 and 67 inches. Alright guys, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in a future one.